Nick, I got this new Pro Controller, but you know what? It, the input just sucks. I can't beat any of these dark nuts. Well, look at this brand new Wii U pad. I could take a selfie. <laughs> Welcome to the Hamo Bros channel. We are the Hamo Bros. Today we are going to do a different type of Zelda ranking video. We're going to do a tier list. Right. So let's go over to the tier list. We have all the Zelda games listed out here, and at the top we have S through F. Huh, I don't um, see Mennonite. <laughs> <laughs> right. Where is he? Oh, wait, he's already at the top. Sorry, guys. Well, honestly, this shouldn't take too long, because, uh... Oh. There you go. Yep, yep. Uh, I think that's all we okay. need to do here. Yeah. Right. Goodbye. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you yeah, bye. for coming. Thanks. See ya. Bye. All right, well, well, in that case, we might as well just move it. <laughs> all right all right so we already have f tier this game has so many glaring issues <laughs> in terms of just being a zelda game that it deserves to be at the bottom right. i know matthew you may not agree with that it you think it should be d, d, d tier, but but i we, nick and i i'm gonna go f i think it just, it just doesn't on your experience it doesn't with the controls. it's not set up for exploration it's not set up Right. For the fundamentals of a good Zelda game, it does. It's like a Pichu. It does. It sucks. Do dungeon, all the way. It does do dungeons better though than Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, but not necessarily exploration. I never said exploration. All right. Are there any other F tier games? We're obviously, gonna go, obviously, Four Sword, Four Swords Adventures, because they are definitely meant more so for just kind of these mini. Two. Zelda checklist game experience. Games. <laughs> they are checklist yeah. games because they just don't hold up. It's just right really compared to other Zelda games. No yeah. exploration at all. Right. It doesn't really keep you wanting to play like hours and hours on end. But they're not horrible games. It's just you gotta be a hardcore Zelda fan to even really commit to like playing them because of all the system <laughs> constriction constraints that you have to meet <laughs> all right all right all right do any other titles here fit the f tier i'd say try triforce heroes almost makes that f tier but because of how accessible the 3ds was right uh and how much more fun and customizable everything just more more but more fun than right and, the, you're, uh, the, and you're able to play multi over multi the types. internet even though it doesn't work that well it does not at all <laughs> it does not at all we figure that out <laughs> but if it's there because it still provides a better experience than the other two multiplayer titles all right so thomas and nick yeah would put the two ds titles at d as well personally um, i think it comes to your experience with the touch controls i think it does those two games do a lot of different things for the series with those touch controls and the the speaker it just but adds the variety. fact that but again with uh, similar complaints with skyward sword like when the features don't work oh. it definitely makes it much more frustrating mm -hmm. them i could never get the mic to work no matter how hard I tried, I had to just keep doing it over and over and over until I was lucky enough that right. it would register the right notes. Right, but then again, when it does work, it feels awesome. It doesn't feel awesome. It it's not the same. Feels like a chore. It <laughs> feels like a chore. More so, I like it, it seems like there's extra steps to do something that was never an issue, but is now making it much more of an issue if that mm -hmm. makes sense i think when we go back and play these titles the your opinions will change slightly we'll see we'll see yeah. yes it might be a, a match <laughs> see, is oh it, yeah am I missing the minish cap i forgot <laughs> oh yeah minish cap <laughs> that almost deserves mm. to be an f title <laughs> but i think just nah. because we love it so much as a childhood game will raise it up a little bit but it's not there are some good aspects to yeah. it um like i said the combat is my favorite part 
Mm-hmm. We've already talked about that a bunch of times. Other parts is it looks so aesthetic, uh, looks so pleasing to look at. Right. I um, think once again, it, it's uh, kind of like that Wind Waker like appeal to people. They look at it. It's this big grand sea adventure, and it has this music, this amazing art style. But when you go and play <laughs> the actual core you know the gameplay it does not hold up <laughs> yeah not at all um oh we should mention real quick hyrule here hyrule <laughs> warriors count. we're not counting it. this is just because of the tier list if we chose. did link's crossbow train would be on this list <laughs> wanda right. gamelon would be on this list right. <laughs> does anything else fit honest. in the game right? 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 it's good yeah yeah sure. solid Phillips title. <laughs> All right. Does anything else fit in the D list here? No. no. Personally, I would put Wind Waker. I but would not. I would not either. I'll put it at C. I will put it at C as well. And Twilight this. Princess. We are playing this right now. Uh, Wind Waker. Very so, easy. So badly paced. Horrible pacing. With just the how long? Horrible dungeon design. Five minutes. We gotta go five minutes. From outside island, back to home. <laughs> Not outside, Windfall Island. Mm-hmm. Back to home, and then five minutes back. Mm-hmm. It's just, so many cuts. Just set your straight so many shot. Things. Put your feet up for five minutes. Come yeah, back and see bath- if you... We, hey, yeah, we just... It's the it's first it's the time bath- you have a bathroom break in the middle. And a Zelda game. First bathroom break. Wow, the best Introduced experience right is outside the game. <laughs> 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 Makes it a C tier, I guess. Um... Uh, Twilight Princess suffers from some of the same cutscene problems, a pacing problems. It's right. really slow at the beginning. Really and visuals. Slow. You say I what think about that's more of a personal taste. That you don't like the darkness. Yeah, it's there needs to be more colors to the spectrum. I think I agree with Matt. Or that's more of a personal like, taste. But Majora's Mask does darkness better, but. Yeah, but Some it just feels like it's like dark to be dark. Kind of, yeah. Well, that's yeah, kind of. There is a little bit of no, edge, it's which way doesn't... too dark. As in, you can't see dark. I guess. Turn up your gamma. <laughs> yeah, turn up your <laughs> yeah, I do. But I'm just saying, it's way too dark. <laughs> All right. So I think another <laughs> <laughs> title that fits in the C tier would be a link between worlds. It's just kind of mm. an average yeah, Zelda title. Uh, it's it is mm, superior to the ones below it. I guess so. If we're looking at our yeah. personal score or the scorings we have, although we're not trying to look at our scorings, it is slightly it is slightly better than you know Minish Cap and probably the other DS games. It there are lots of glaring glaring issues which we didn't see. The f- I feel like. What are you not looking out for? I don't know if it's like uh, really... Because when you're playing for the first time, I feel like you miss a lot of stuff, which is... I don't know if it's exactly time, glaring are... issues. Yeah, the pacing yeah. is it's pretty like, bad. I think really it's pretty bad. bad. I think that like the pacing in Zelda... Well, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker stand out, while I think A Link Between Worlds is these little nitpicks that you're searching for. I think it's just an average... Zelda title that does everyone I meant everything pretty okay. It's just kind of another Zelda mm, game. It's it does easy. Have, the scene is one's a like three D type game where it's more a bigger place and then the Zelda Link it, Between Worlds is a smaller world and then Right, but Wind Waker and Twilight Princess didn't need to be this grand area since they're both so empty and just creates even more just but when you find a a small map boring and like takes a long time to get to point a to point b even though it's a small map it feels kind of dumb too i guess i kind of disagree with how long it takes to get around the a link between worlds map i feel like you can get around it pretty quickly especially when you get the witch that flies you around. You do get that kind of quickly. Like in the Link to the Past, True. you don't get it till the Dark World, I believe, right? Right. Because you have to talk to the. Because don't you have to also, talk? Technically, you have to. If you had the shield earlier. Not I'm trying one. to remember because we played a randomizer. Yeah, you just need the shovel. I, we played the. But you if you get the shovel. 
I'm trying to remember. We played a randomizer, so that's messing us up a little bit. I think we do. You do get it in the dark world. But oh. all right. But all right. A link between worlds is an average Zelda title. It right. doesn't do too many we things that make that. it stand out, but it doesn't have these huge faults that make it drop to the bottom two tiers here. All right. So with do B, any let's C? Go with... No, are there any other C titles? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not seeing so. any here. So let's go ahead and move on to the B. Seasons is definitely going to be the first one that we see here in the it's a, B. It's a solid game, right? Mm -hmm. But because it doesn't like excel at going beyond, right? It does have the seasons mechanic, which changes up, you know, the way that you explore the overworld a little bit. But that's kind of like the extent of it. It's kind of just like a remake of the first Zelda game, except with like the different seasons and then you have uh what's the name of the other world in the game that you oh, i can't remember uh, off the top of my Subro head subrosia that sounds that right. sounds about right so you have that extra area to explore and it actually has some kind of funny cute little stories like going on that <laughs> date with the mm -hmm. one Subrosian they get like the spoilers key. for this what alright well a date <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta go on a date in this game <laughs> but I mean it's just solid Zelda tile above um, average let's see um, yeah, anything gotta... else in the B tier that Where, what's my oh yeah uh, okay yeah, so well, this is gonna be the kind of even bigger <laughs> controversial <laughs> uh, pick right here. So we're putting Breath of the Wild as a B tier Zelda title. Now I it, think what you said uh, is really true. How this game, its highs are really high, but its lows are high. very low and extremely low. Yeah. It also brings a lot of shock value. So the first time you play it, it's just like, holy crap! Like. This is crazy. Then you have collectibles of 900 core seats, which is kind well, of you know exactly. Know the bonus that. content should be at a 10 because there's there are so much stuff. Well, Just because there's so much. This stuff. is so much stuff as it being a 10 for being crappy stuff. <laughs> like if you think of all the weapons that yeah, you don't. Yeah, it's crappy weapons. But I mean, there's also shrines i mean i'm not saying the shrines are good but i'm saying that having there's just so much different varieties of well that's available to you for yeah, me it's variety. just like they all look the same that's not well the i'm not talking about the pleasing. looks i'm talking about how there's some some are puzzles some are combat based the, the whole island is its own yeah, like, bonus content which is if awesome each well, there's other game with like an island type thing instead of oh you had to face this one guardian in this area four yeah. not four like ten times to test your might all right let's That's just agree dumb. that each of the categories that we would score these games out of breath of the wild like in each of the categories have really high highs in like almost all the categories as well as really low lows except for like the dungeons are pretty just like when when you like first completed the dungeon like well divine beast in breath of the wild it's just kind of like oh that was that was it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i guess like actually it, you there's like a build up to each of them but the one thing i might th i don't think there's any other zelda game the music in this one is the worst out of all although we are not considering that yeah, I, know. I will agree with nick here that the music they I don't think it's like they chose. Well, it's not they very memorable. It's just it, it still fits what they were trying to do. Sure, but like when I went and played the music disc thing, some of it was just the combat music, which was really boring and dumb. I mean, you could say that about really any of the combat music in any of the. <laughs> well, it's all Zelda. they but have. Was, is yeah, the that's thing. All because they have. like in other right. the other Zelda CD um, collections, they have like. You know, it's a track, the track list of all yeah. good songs. Right. But this one's like do 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 do. I don't know how it goes. I understand. <laughs> I definitely agree that the music in the game is not it's the highest point. Funny. Let's go with A tier. We'll start with Seasons Brother Ages. So Ages. Um, this one goes a bit beyond right. uh, Seasons. It, I definitely think it's one of the most underrated Zelda games in the entire series. I think it has 
the best dungeon design in the entire series, hands down. Puzzle design. It's just for somehow just like at the end of the Game Boy Color life, you know, kicks things like to the next level for Zelda in you know, in ages. It's just it's crazy. There's so much bonus content. There's like the hero mode and and then like being able to pair with seasons to add the, you know, extra ending and all the other items that you can collect. It has some of like the best collectibles too with the rings. There's like 64 rings and they all do something different. And it's just fun collecting them. I don't know. I wish we could talk more about it, but <laughs> let's go ahead and move on to the next title. Let's go with Link's Awakening. Also, we'll just... That's the Link to the Best. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that could still be there. But... Uh, Sorry, they look kind of... All right. So, um, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. I feel like this is also a very solid title. Dungeons are great. The story is great. It doesn't... It's not as severe... In terms of setting you off into the world as the first game where you have zero information but i'm right. glad that they don't just have here go out to this place on the map right like, and link to the past it's linear it's like zelda it's done pretty right. good yeah i think so linear too. zelda done right it like it has this open world but obviously you have to do all the dungeons in order but just like kind of how they lead you up to each of the dungeons is just like pretty awesome I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. I've, I've been playing that. It's the most recent title I'm playing right now. And it's really a joy to revisit. Alright, so Zelda 1. Zelda 1. What a great s- game. Set that at the A tier. Obviously, it's the most influential title in the entire series. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, it's... it does obviously. So it speaks for its style. <laughs> right. It, it still has the spirit, like, well, the spirit of Zelda that some like all the other games still haven't done some of the things that the original game has accomplished you know just just feeling like Adventurous. right just completely Adventure. everything's up to you you know mm-hmm. there's no there's no no cutscene like holding you back or making you sit through like oh gotta watch this again or oh this guard is stopping me here or this character I need to go talk to in order to progress, you know, get to the next dungeon, whatever. Basically all <laughs> other Zelda games do that. Mm-hmm. And Zelda 1 is just freedom. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's still fun to play. And now this is also going to be two. kind of a controversial pick <laughs> right here. Zelda 2 is another one of the most underrated <laughs> Zelda titles in the series. A lot of people are going to put that towards the bottom. It's just... I I don't really know, like, how to defend it properly, but... I think, yeah, once we play it again, we'll have better ways to defend it. Because I think just looking at, you know, it became kind of more linear. But at the same time, there are lots of places to explore. Right. They did... They made the focus more on the the combat and they you know they definitely made it pretty challenging and pretty fun oh yeah definitely um, very rewarding definitely very rewarding there are lots of glaring mistakes <laughs> probably more than the other titles so far in the a tier list but i feel like it's <laughs> like red these, these highs are so high right but the lows are definitely low has done stuff that no other zelda game has done <laughs> yeah how the first two are pretty much <laughs> um now let's go to let's go ahead and start oh, off okay. with the s tier we'll start off all right so we'll go with this my favorite Ocarina game time, the highest rated video game of all time my at least the n64 for metacritic as of recently a lot of people kind of you know give it a little bit of a harder time but i think that you know it doesn't deserve as much you know negativity as you know as it's getting because it is one of the first 3d you know games. adventure <laughs> game yeah i think games. of 3D the 3d games open it's, world it's definitely the best and it's also got so much going for it even though it is the first right any any first thing's gonna have some issues right you know mostly technical there are some 
pacing issues, at least in my opinion. Just just a couple, specifically with like Saria's <laughs> song and whatnot, but it just feels like a grand adventure once again. It's more cinematic, and that's mm-hmm. kind of like what a lot of the uh, titles after Ocarina of Time started doing is becoming more of these kind of movie like experiences like Wind Waker your sister gets kidnapped Twilight Princess your little friends from your village get kidnapped <laughs> I don't know <laughs> it's just uh, yeah they don't get kidnapped the friends from the village um, some one of them, them do. do the yeah, girl one of them does. yeah and the boy but it just yeah. becomes more like this movie experience cinematic kind of deal let's move on to link to the past now this is obviously like this game is very similar to the first game but like improved upon so of course mm-hmm. it's going to be higher than eight here it's just such a classic and it there aren't really too many flaws i think of all the games i'd say link uh this one there are the probably no flaws least to flaws few. Right. Don't say no flaws. I won't say no flaws, but very minimal. Yeah. It's very a very smooth experience. Not noticeable <laughs> flaws. The one thing I would do to fix this game is kind of do what its uh, younger brother did, uh, Link's Awakening, where mm. you don't mark where to go <laughs> on the map. Just have characters tell you about like these locations, and it makes you want to go and find them and explore them just kind of like in Link's Awakening where the owl is kind of like hey this is what's up (laughs) like this is you know a point of interest that you might want to go check out but you're still able to go around so that's the one thing that Link A Link to the Past could learn but other than that it's just like the golden standard of the series yeah let's end it off with Majora's a controversial mad. STL, or kind of. <laughs> sort of. Some people will agree, some people will disagree. Well, if it's, it's the on the uh, 3DS, then no. <laughs> and yeah. the uh, We're talking uh, about the original, <laughs> original 64. release. 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, original release. The game is just... It's like... It's so... It's almost on the same level as Zelda 2, where it's just so unlike any other Zelda. Right. Mm-hmm. It's definitely... It's, like, so crazy it, there's no princess to save just you being a hero trying to save this town trying to save people you're going out and you just try to save people uh, you get better rewarded for trying to save people which yeah. I like a lot uh, it's got a much darker undertone mm-hmm. than a lot of the other games it's a lot it's uh, in think a way a little more serious Twilight Princess tried to copy it and then failed so. epically I, I think <laughs> I don't so know. I don't epically fine failed yeah I would say epically yeah. I would say Twilight Princess failed at it they're trying to have dark stuff just to be dark right but this is dark with purpose like to give a specific emotion yep. instead of mm-hmm. I think it's a lot more instead of having this feeling of Adventure and high hopes. It's kind of like despair at knowing a what you're gonna lose. Will come. A lot of emotion in this title. Yeah. And so if you look at like a link to the past, Ocarina of Time, and then like Wind Waker, it's kind of like this formulaic kind of lead up. So it's like all the games kind of follow a formula, you know, of how to create a successful Zelda game. Majora's Mask, which came out after Ocarina of Time did not go in the same direction as these titles where it's kind of like building off of a previous game mm-hmm. yeah. and just trying to add on and improve mm-hmm. and stick with the formula Majora's Mask definitely you know changed like the entire like game mechanics with like the time which is something that can scare people away from playing this game with having the three day mm-hmm. time limit but I, I think like that it. one yeah it's definitely one of the best parts of the game it's just like some people don't like the pressure it's, it's just sure you can slow down the time and, and you then can restart. Uh, fast forward the time if you want and then you reset the time so you can go back to the third day right. or the first day and then you have to redo some stuff in order to be back where you are you have a lot of control over time with i the think ocarina so yeah <laughs> you have a lot more control than you did in ocarina, ocarina of time, time. <laughs> like 
you see in Ocarina of Time you see the effects of not saving the kingdom Mm -hmm. but with this game you can manipulate effects that actually do change when you are tinkering with the timeline in a way the, Which the, I enjoy. The game world definitely can change a lot more based on your ac- actions in this game. Mm-hmm. Just lots of different events that you keep track of and whatnot. So I it definitely fits in. It's the funny S2. that one of my favorite games are sequels: <laughs> <laughs> Zelda Two and Ocarina, or not Ocarina, Majora's Mask. Mm-hmm. Right. I think I I love Zelda Two because of its combat and it's kind of like difficulty, but I love Majora's Mask because of its complexity and deepness and spirit. Alright, All right, so this is our tier list. No other opinions could outweigh this one right here, obviously. This is the final verdict. <laughs> we are the official Zelda tier list makers. <laughs> no one else can compare. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. I think that this tier list does make sense. Obviously for, you know, we're making some compromises with each other on this, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, I guess. Not really too many changes I would make, I guess. At least if the changes were made, it wouldn't be very, be very be like significant. One spot. It's like towards the bottom. I think what, the top you move makes this a lot of sense. Up here. Yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah, and then I'd but move one waker down. <laughs> if it was me, I would do this, though. Oh. Well. If it was me, I would do this. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then, then you know, I good. kind of agree with that, but and then I mean the, the the wall merging is definitely oh my gosh. a good mechanic. I would Where? switch those two. <laughs> what did he move? He put a Triforce here. Triforce here. I could see that. I like it as a C tier actually. Well, it just depends. <laughs> it I'm... really, really depends on your experience. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> imagine if we had a lot more issues with. <laughs> You the know, connection, the connection That's true. errors that we had, but it's not yeah, as bad as the only... mic yeah. on Spirit Tracks. Whatever. All right. All right. Well, thank you everyone for mm-hmm. tuning in to our official Zelda tier list. Leave a comment showing us what changes you would make to our tier list, or what you think your you know your ideal Zelda tier list would be. Don't change it, man. Well, just you know. Share your opinions. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just make tell sure us what to you watch. think makes more sense. Make sure to watch our upcoming videos. Like, subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye. Stay classy. <laughs>